The Silver Mountain Fire near Rockerville is still burning. It uh, sparked just before noon yesterday. Kelland's Tyler Lauder has an update on the fire and the current conditions in the Black Hills. Yesterday's Silver Mountain fire that started went from 0.1 acres to 22 rather quickly. And thankfully today, with all the fast action on the ground and the air, there's up to 75% containment. And we all work just super closely together out here. And, and I think yesterday's attack and stop of the fire at 22 acres was absolutely huge. And it just shows how well all of our resources work together. The current yeah. fire danger in the Black Hills is extreme with strong winds and dry conditions. Today, completely different conditions. We're under red flag warnings today and through the weekend, it's gonna be pretty doggone blustery with available fuels, meaning that all the fuels out here are now available to burn. Uh, there's very little green component left in any of the fuels out here. All the dead and down that you see, fire will wanna move through it rapidly. We're looking at fine dead fuel moistures that are 2%. 2%, that's, I mean, a sheet of paper is what, 7%. Um, the wind conditions are, are critical for us. Red flag warnings today and tomorrow um, are we're extreme category for fire conditions. Rifle elk season is underway, so the forest is urging hunters and everyone else to be careful. Folks need to be cautious right now, especially, you know, with elk season, you know, rifle elk just starting up. There's gonna be a lot of folks out in the woods recreating and having a good time. This is a great time of year to be in the woods. We've got great colors, you know, but folks really need to be cognizant of where they are, how deep the grass is, uh, and where their exhaust pipe is in relation to that. In Rockerville, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. With these dry conditions, fires will continue to be a concern until rain or snow consistently comes through the area.